Hey there. Welcome back. I'm Devin, and today I need you to help me declutter my trigger box. If you are willing to help me. So I have here this cardboard box, which is beautifully wrapped in gift wrap. Has these lovely flowers and leaves and ferns and a plant was given to me in this box as a gift and the giver was so thoughtful to give me this cute wrapped box that I kept it and I ended up using it as a collection point for ASMR props and triggers. So if you are new to ASMR an ASMR trigger is simply any item or action that might induce the tingly, pleasant ASMR feeling. And so when I first started listening to ASMR, um, I had to get used to that because I think of triggers as kind of a bad thing, you know, something that might trigger you emotionally or psychologically. But in this case, we're talking about a good trigger, triggering a pleasant response um, from the sound or the visuals provided by a particular item or a particular action um, from the ASMR creator. So what I had done is I had kind of started putting things into this box that I thought were good ASMR props, good potential triggers, and some of them are things that I have used in videos, most of them videos quite a while ago now, and after they were in a video, if I wanted to keep track of them as a prop, I tossed them in this box. And then sometimes I would also add something to this box um, that I just thought was potentially a good trigger, but I hadn't actually listened to it on the mic or tested it or anything, um, thinking that I, you know, would use it in some future video. And then for whatever reason, over the last couple of months, I just kind of hadn't really paid attention to this box. I hadn't really put anything new in it or taken anything out of it. So, it's a rectangular box here. It's pretty good size. Um, and again, you can see the lovely wrapping paper. That might be a bit loud, but it's a cool sound. If you like scratchy paper sounds, I've got you covered here. And, um, so since this is the season of sort of decluttering, right, in, uh, in the winter season, people often get into cleaning things out in their homes, and I like to do that as well, and so I just thought it would be fun if we decluttered this trigger box together. And so what I'm going to do is just pull things out of it and test them out for you. And you can let me know in the comments if there are any that you definitely think I should keep and use in future videos, or if there are any that you think I should give away that should not um, be included as ASMR props, ones that should go on to other uses um, in my home or be properly passed on, as the case may be. So, I'm going to put this box down now because it's actually, um, it's kind of heavy got a good bit of stuff in here, um, but I wanted you to see how pretty it was. And so I will put this down carefully. 
and it is open on the top so I can, you know, see down into it a little bit, but I haven't looked in here in a really long time, and there's kind of one item on the top that is covering the others, and um, so I'm actually really interested myself to see what is in here, and I feel like I say this at the beginning of every show and tell video now, I am going to try to move through these items a little more quickly, um, you know, and really be sort of testing them out um, and not getting too much into them to try to have some more tingly variety in this video. Um, and also to try to get through all the items. So I think that that will be fun. And the first thing I'm noticing is that I have a scrunchie here on my wrist. I'll give you a few scrunchy sounds. I usually wear my hair pulled back for videos because I just like to have it out of the way, but um, it looked kind of nice today, so I decided to leave it down. So, I don't think there are any scrunchies in my box over here, um, but I know I love scrunchies as a trigger, and this is Reminding me that I should, uh, bring out the scrunchies. Okay, already I'm distracted, but, uh, little bonus scrunchy scrunchy action. Scrunchy sounds. Always a classic. Definitely has a place in the, uh, ASMR prop collection, so. I'll put that down for now. We'll see if my hair gets on my nerves and I need to pick it up later. Okay, so the first thing that is in this box is, not surprisingly, another box. So this flat pink box was on the top there, kind of laying across, uh, so I couldn't see a lot of the things that are underneath it. And this is just a really nice gift box. That I've had for a while and had thought would be lovely to tap on. Potentially. But I hadn't really tried it yet. And I like it because it has this sort of clover shaped bow. And it is pink on the top and blue on the bottom. And we can open it. And it's extra cute because it's orange on the inside. And oh my goodness, I had forgotten that it's from JCPenney. So that's even kind of like almost fun and retro at this point. JC Penny. So I like how it sounds on the inside. And I do like the orange interior. That's fun. Okay, so this uh, blue and pink J.C. Penny box. What do you think? Should I keep it in my trigger collection? Or should I declutter it? I think this one has good potential, so I am going to put this into my keep pile. I think I will do this in a traditional, 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 uh, decluttering way, and I will have a keep pile, a no pile, so a yes pile, a no pile, and a maybe pile. So I'm going to put this in the maybe pile because it's a good solid box, but you know, there are a lot of boxes out there, so let me know. The maybes are where I will need.
your help the most. Okay, pink and blue gift box. Okay, I'm really honestly going to try to not look and just pull. Okay, um, oh, I love this. Okay, yes, this. Here's a scrunchy little flower. It's not a scrunchy, it's just makes a scrunchy sound. It's actually a little wristlet. It's like a little bracelet. But you can put it on your wrist. Um, and it definitely makes a good crunchy sound. I've used this in uh, a follow my instructions video, I think. And um, also in the video with my mom, which is still by far my most popular video, which is so much fun. I love that. Um, and this flower has a cool secret, if it still works, that, and this makes a cool sound if I remember turning this on. Isn't that a cool little dink sound? So that turns on a little light. And so you can see the little light. And I do like this one. I think this one has good um, follow, following potential. It's a good prop for that. So we have the scrunchy red light up flower. I love this. I think it's really fun. So for me, this is definitely a yes. I'll turn it on one more time. Oh. <gasps> okay, that's cracking me up. That is a very cartoony kind of sound to me. Okay, so, turning it off for real this time. Um, okay, this is definitely a keeper. This is going into the yes pile. Okay, I'll put my yes pile over here. Okay, again, oh my gosh, this is funny just putting my hand down in here and seeing what textures I feel. The next thing is a koosh ball. And oh my gosh, let me, I'm gonna rummage for a second here off-camera rummaging to see. Yes, because there's another goosh ball in here. I do know that. Okay. I think these two are best used um, in tandem. Definitely also used these in the video with my mom. Um, but I don't know if I've used them since. I don't know if koosh balls are like currently a thing. Let me know, but in the 80s and 90s, classic, classic stress relief tool, you know? I mean, you just have a, have a koosh ball at your desk and good times would ensue. I think the koosh balls are, are a definite winner. This is already fun. I'm already discovering uh, discovering uh, new sounds. Rediscovering sounds. To share with you. Okay, koosh balls. In my opinion, going into the yes pile, please let me know um, if you have differing opinions on any of these items. I really do want to hear your thoughts. Okay, let's see what we have in here next. Oh my gosh, okay, what is this? I don't even know. This is a... Oh, a piece of ribbon. Oh, oh, and it has these little, um, sparkly polka dots on it, but one of them just fell off, so... It might be a little fragile. 
Okay, well this must be from a gift I received at some point. And I bet I thought it would be good for like measuring, you know, that I could be like, oh, okay, let me see, let me, let me size you up here and see how many pink polka dots wide you are. Abby ASMR did a fun video where she was measuring you with all sorts of things that weren't tape measures. I don't know if I'm close to you to, close enough to you to do a good, uh, measuring there. I wanted you to have a nice wide view today so you could uh, see everything in the uh, trigger box. Okay, another little sparkly just came off of this ribbon, so um, I think I'm going to put this ribbon in the no pile because, well, let me see. That is another cool sound, um, that you can make with ribbon, you know, the kind of a taut. Sound and rustling sound. Okay, I'm saying no to you, Pink Ribbon, because I'm not loving you. But again, let me know if you disagree. Okay, how are you doing? Are you okay? Are you enjoying this? Are you enjoying the surprises? Okay, let's see. Let's see what else there is in our magical trigger box. Alright, putting my hand down in it. Okay, ooh, this is another little box. I try to restrain myself from putting, you know, every single box. But I think I liked this one because of its pretty patterns, pretty rose pattern, flowery pattern it has on it. See that it has, you can see that it has flowers on it. It's very pretty. And it's just a nice little And on the inside, it has some little speckles, little speckles, little speckles, little speckles. Oh, I think that. I think this is a cute one. I think that has good potential. Okay, I think this one is cute enough and compact enough and has enough potential that it is going into the keep pile, so. Okay, we are keeping the little flowery box. Okay, let me see, what else? What is this? Oh, I'm super excited about this one. This is a fun game in of itself, seeing if I can tell what things are from the shape of them. Okay, check this thing out. This is from a game that we received for Christmas this year, and there were little tokens in here that you had to pop out, you know, that were perforated, um, that you had to pop out and then use in the game, and I just thought that it was a really cool shape, kind of what remained after you popped out the little pieces. So we've got this rectangle with all these other little squares and rectangles within it, which is kind of cool, and I thought it might have good potential for like a personal attention video that I could inspect you through different squares of this um, inspection device, <sighs> or that I could use it to line up on your face, or perhaps use it as a guide. To make some adjustments and enter some codes on you. Or maybe, maybe this could also be a measurer as well, you know, I could say, okay. Measure up that side. Measure up that side. 
So I think this has um, a lot of fun potential. So let me know if you have any ideas for what I could do with this fun little pop-out cardboard rectangle. in my keep pile over here. Okay. What else is in here? I don't know what this is. Um, oh, okay. This is a little cardboard sleeve. And I do love the sound that these kinds of little This is a sample of a little reusable cloth um, round to use on your face, like to remove makeup and such. And I don't think I've ever, I guess I haven't opened it. So maybe I should do that and actually use it. That is a good sound. It is reminiscent to me of the temporary tattoos that I got from the co-op that I um, used in a few videos. They um, had flowers on them and came in little envelopes like this. I got one set as a gift for someone and then got a set for myself and come to think of it. I need to find those because I never uh, did use any of those dandelion tattoos, so I will have to do that this spring, um, but I remember the little envelope like this that they were in, the little cardboard square, it was a big hit sound-wise. Um, and I like this one too, but I think, I think I'm going to pull this out and actually Try using the little uh, round that is in there. <laughs> round, as you can see. And um, it's by Last Object, which is a very cool brand that makes reusable versions of all kinds of toiletry items. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to put that one over to the side and uh, take that back into uh, the bathroom with my other toiletry items. It doesn't need to be in my trigger box. Okay, rummaging, rummaging, let's see. Um, oh, oh, okay, I think I know what this is. Okay, this is an actual tape measure. Oh, is it gonna be too loud or too sticky? Okay. I threw this in there because I do like tape measure sounds. Here, I can measure, measure the dimensions of my microphone here, let's see. And then I can measure out there. Yeah, that's a good distance. And then I can measure out there. Okay. And then we can take it all the way out here. Okay, that's good. And then I can bring it a little closer to you maybe and just Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm. Okay, well, measuring <laughs> is a fun trigger. Um, let me know what you think of this little tape measure. Okay, I'm going to put this one in the maybe pile. It's a nice, uh, nice little sound, but it isn't thrilling me too much. So I'm going to put that in the maybe pile over here. It was really fun, and I'm moving, uh, moving through this pretty quickly. Okay, let's see what else. Oh, oh, what is? Okay, I love this every time. I'm like, oh, what is it? This is cool. It has a cool metal feeling, and this is a compact. And I'm definitely, um, you know, keeping this. I think it's just a matter of. Uh, whether it belongs in the trigger box or not. This 
belonged to my grandmother from my collection of her things. I don't know if it'll be too loud if I open it, but let's see. Oh no, not too bad. And then you can see inside is a little mirror. Well, this is very pretty, and I love the green. I love the green. And I love the sort of depth and iridescence of it. I bet it looks nice with my sun city light on it. I hope it does. Um, and I love this compact. But I don't know that it's particularly the... Uh, the best ASMR prop. I think I used it in a choosing video where you were choosing between this and a different compact that I have, which I don't think is in there. I think is on my in my dresser. Um, so I think I will put this back with my kind of jewelry and things instead of keeping it with my ASMR things. So I will put this over in the repurpose to somewhere else. <laughs> pile, which I realized I kind of need that uh, other pile. Okay, let's see. I did sort of peek there. Sorry, I shouldn't peek. The next thing is this little crocheted circle. And this is also something that I think is supposed to be um, like to cleanse your face with. Like a little tiny washcloth. And someone gave me a pack of these, and they're very cute. Um, and so I think I threw one of them in the trigger box. Um, not sure if I've ever used it in a video or not. Well, that's a pretty good sound. I dig this. I dig this. Okay, this. This uh, little crocheted circle is going into the keep pile. Okay, I'm reaching my hand in again. Let's see. Oh, oh, what is this? Okay, I'm gonna pull. Mm -hmm. No, maybe I have to take something on top first. Okay. What is this? This is another box. This is a box that an audio tube came in, a radio tube. My husband is really into vintage audio, so we have quite a lot of tubes in our house. It's been something that's been very interesting for me to learn about. And this is just a... You know, kind of a standard uh, little box here. It's got a nice lip. A little orange around the edges. And again, I think I had this one in the video with my mom when I was looking for things for us to tap on. Which was quite a while ago now. This one is okay, but it's not, it's not thrilling me. It's not thrilling me, so in the true spirit of decluttering, if it's not bringing me joy, it's 
going into the giveaway declutter pile. Most of these things I'm not actually giving away, I'm just returning them to their proper place in my home from whence I had um, absconded with them to turn them into ASMR props, which once you start making ASMR that happens. Nothing in your home is safe from becoming an ASMR prop. Okay, well this is really fun. I'm enjoying myself. Are you doing okay? Do you need like a break or anything? Do you need like a water break or a snack? You know, when you're decluttering, it's, it's important to do that. So, okay, yeah, I did have a sip of water. I did have a sip of water earlier. I'm going to uh, keep doing that. Stay hydrated for our decluttering session. Okay, let me see what else is in here. Um, oh my goodness, this is a good one. Okay, like I said, I should just play this game. Can I tell what it is from feeling it? So actually, I will let you guess. From the sound. Can you guess what that is? It is a cute little hairbrush. And this actually um, is a hairbrush of mine that came in a travel set of like travel items, and it's such a cute little brush, it's wooden, and it's a very nice quality little brush, but I just have such crazy thick hair that I really kind of need a full size brush, even when I'm traveling. So I didn't really use this that much, and I remember throwing it in there and thinking, okay, I'll use this in a role play or something at some point. So I guess I can brush your hair a little bit. Just brush, brush, brush on the side. Brush, brush, brush on the side. Brush, 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 brush. Yeah, I think that's nice, and uh, the wooden side here definitely has good tappy potential, and I do really like the bristly sounds of the hairbrush, so I brush my mic's hair. Okay, definitely going into the yes pile. The tiny pink, tiny pink brush. Definitely a keeper because I haven't really done anything with this and I think it's uh, got some good potential. So I am frightened to try to brush my own hair with my headphones in, so I'm going to take out one side. <sighs> Never really done any hair brushing ASMR, but I know people like that sometimes, and my hair is actually long enough at this point to do so. Yeah, it's actually it's working fine in there. My hair is pretty smooth today, it's not that uh, big and frizzy for some reason, so. Okay, where's my headphone? Put my other headphone back in, and um, definitely put this cute little hairbrush over into my keep pile. Okay, I'm pushing the box back a little bit so I won't accidentally see it. Okay, I know this one grouping of things that's in here. There is some construction paper. Okay, I did look to see the rest of the construction paper. And this construction paper is in here because way back when I was first starting my channel, I got some requests for paper tearing in videos. And so I made a video a long time ago that was kind of like an office role play, um, where I had you like helping me sort through files and make edits and helping me tear up pieces of paper for some unknown reason. 
And you know, I actually really liked that video, but that's back when I was starting and I was experimenting with a weird um, hand-me-down mic someone had given me that actually didn't work very well. And so the sound on that video is not good at all. Um, quite low. So maybe I will have to redo it. But I thought it was a very unique trigger idea because I feel like it could be quite a loud sound, but people said they liked paper tearing. So I'm going to take this piece of construction paper and I'm going to tear it a couple of times and see what you think of this as a trigger. I'm going to do it not directly next to the microphone, but... And then a little more. On the set. And then we have all these nice little pieces of paper. And then I can take a few of those. Just seems like that might be louder um, than other sounds. Um, but I don't know. And I do have a pretty good supply. Ooh, lost a little bit of little confetti here. Whee! Whee! <laughs> Since I'll have to clean up later anyway. Um, I have a stash of construction paper, um, you know, with my craft and art supplies. Um, so I think I'll put the rest of this construction paper back with that. Um, but you can let me know if paper tearing is something you'd like to see more of, and, you know, I should give another try at an office roleplay like that, um, because it was a lot of fun, so I'm glad that this sparked that idea back in my mind. I was hoping that was what this would do, you know, as well, would be give me some re-inspiration of my own ideas that I've put into this box and forgotten about. <laughs> okay, so I will put the construction paper in the things to be put away in their proper homes area. Okay, let's see what is in here. Okay, I have two, it feels like two. Oh, okay. I have, oh, it's interesting that these all kind of stuck together. Okay, these are the blank sides of these, but these are three postcards that I used to have up on the bulletin board in my office back when I had a full-time nine-to-five office uh, job before so many things changed. And um, I had brought them home and had them tacked up somewhere here, and then I stuck them into my trigger box because I thought that tracing postcards would be a good video. So, okay, I'd completely forgotten I did that. So, we will definitely keep these so that I can do a more extensive uh, postcard video at some point because... I do have some other ones that are fun, but these are all from the brand Whale and Bird, and they're a UK creator, and I have three of their postcards here. So the first one shows a comma and a period, two punctuation marks here, and the comma is encouraging the period and saying, don't stop, keep going. So that is very cute and motivational. <laughs> and my second postcard has a Rubik's Cube on it. And it's a Rubik's Cube that is not solved. It's all mixed up. And he is saying, it's okay if you mess up. And that's a good sentiment as well. These are all sort of inspirational. And then my third postcard, I love this one. My third postcard features Super Sloth. And I think this is so appropriate for an ASMR channel. Super Sloth says, I will rescue you at my own pace. I'm pretty sure that's what he says. And, um... You can see he's hanging in the tree here, and he has his cape and his superhero mask. 
But I just love the sentiment of that, of a sloth superhero. And I will tell you, as I tap on this postcard, my favorite little anecdote about sloths or sloths is that um, in the Planet Earth series, which I love, where David Attenborough narrates all sorts of amazing nature footage, there's a part in one of them, I don't remember which one, it has many episodes, um, where they are following a sloth, and they show the sloth when he comes down out of the tree and is going to find his mate. And the sloth is moving, you know, pretty slowly across the forest floor. But for a sloth, he is booking it. <laughs> because sloths usually, you know, hardly move at all. So it was just so sweet to watch the sloth who's like, okay. Baby, I'm coming to find you. You know, like, your lover man is on his way. I'm coming. Here we go. And he was just moving so slowly, relatively speaking. But to him, he was on the move. And I just love that. So I always think of that. That sloth who was putting it into high gear. Okay, well, I will definitely keep these postcards, and I will see if I have any others, and then maybe do a more slow and methodical postcard tapping and sounds video. Okay, so this is going into the yes pile as well. Okay, this is kind of a bigger thing. What is this? Um, okay. Oh, okay. It's so funny how many things that were in this box that had to do with cleansing. This I kept because I liked this container. It is from Clean Circle. And this, I'm now remembering, is why I didn't open that other free sample of the reusable cleansing uh, pad yet because I had already gotten these and I think that's probably why I ended up getting a free sample of that other one but this also reminds me that I want to do a video of my favorite sustainable, reusable products, home and self-care products, because I put a lot of time into researching that sort of thing, and I've found some really cool things. And this is a container that is now empty, but it contained these four or five, I think, little reusable, um, charcoal cloth pads that you can use to remove eye makeup and they are wonderful and they work great and then you just wash them with your laundry and reuse them instead of using you know something disposable every time so oh i do i don't know about this lid i don't think the lid's gonna go back on <laughs> oh yeah it's kind of busted on top okay well I do want to talk about this item <laughs> in a future video, but I don't know if this box is going to make it. <sighs> but that is a good sound. Okay, well, I'm not going to... I'm not going to force this poor box right now, but I will put this to the side um, and maybe see uh, if I want to keep it for that video of... Uh, sustainable products that I would like to do because I do like these makeup pads from Clean Circle. Okay, so I'll put that <laughs> to the side. Okay, next, and oh, these are, okay, this 
is one of the I don't know, I think this is a trigger that either you like it or it really annoys you. But I like that sound. And this is one of the most popular and commented on moments in that video with my mom when she and I both have one of these and we're making these sounds. Okay, I love these. Yeah, these are from a Beekman, um, which uh, they make goat's milk products. This is from a Beekman lip balm. And plus it's just really pretty. It's a really pretty little, little tube with flowers on it. Okay, so I will keep that. I think there's another one. I'm gonna like pick up the box here and give it a rummage. See what else is in here. Okay, I have some Uno cards in here because I used these in a follow my instructions video once that I asked you to name the number and the color. What color is that? What number is that? Very good. And can you tell me what color that is? Beautiful. And can you tell me what color that is? Beautiful. So I had used them for that sort of thing. Um, and I do like uh, doing ASMR with cards and games. Oh my gosh, I think I just um, put the two sides of this deck back together sideways. And so now they're all mixed up as I'm shuffling them, but that's okay. <laughs> I can sort that out later. <sighs> Okay, and do you have any guesses? Do you have any guesses? Do you have any guesses what the next number might be? Let me see. I have a number on this card. It's a number between one and five. Do you want to guess the number? What number do you think it is? Mmm, the number was five. The number was five. The number was five. Would you like to try again? Okay, I have... Let me find another number. Okay, what do I have? What do I have? I have another card here that has a number from one to five on it. What number do you think it is? Would you like to guess? What number is on this card? What do you think? Okay, it is a one. A number one. So cards are really good, I think, as a prop in general. I don't think I need to keep these UNO cards in my trigger box. Um, I think I can return them to my game chest so that they will actually get back in the play rotation. I think this is the only UNO deck I have, actually should uh, get some more expanded Unos. <laughs> it is a classic game, but, um, okay, so yeah, so this is a good, ooh, it's a good potential trigger for sure, but it should, um, go back to its proper place, <laughs> and I will just pull games out, um, you know, as I want to use them in videos, which I would like to do more often, so we will return these to my game chest downstairs. Okay, we are making some excellent progress here. Our box is a lot lighter than it was when we started. A lot lighter than it was when we started. So I'm going to keep going with this box and pull out our final items. We have another flower. Kind of a cloth flower. This one does not light up. This one was on top of a package, I think. That's a good classic crunchy crumbly crumbly sound. Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep that one and I could use this to, you know, wipe things away for you. Maybe touch you up a little bit, shine you up. Yeah, that's a keeper, right? You think so? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to put that in the keep pile. Okay, some of these might be duplicates. We have a companion for this little crochet circle, which I have decided to keep, so better even to have two. Okay, so that's good. 
Let me see what else is in here. <laughs> okay, this is cool. These are two birthday cards that my sister-in-law has made for me. She has a cool die-cutting machine and she likes to do creative things with it. And actually, I take that back. This card was for my husband. This is a card, birthday card she made for him with a T-Rex and his little party hat and his present. And I tapped on this and traced on this in my last birthday video that I did, my birthday ASMR celebration video. Um, and so I had kept it for that. And then for my birthday this year, she gave me this one, put our T-Rex down, this one with a little dog on it who has balloons and a package and a party hat. And I had thought that one might be fun to keep for my next birthday video because I like to do videos on my birthday. I will be 44 this year, so I think I will do 44 triggers for my 44th birthday. So keep an eye out for that in May. Okay, but I will definitely, I will keep both of these specifically for that video. So I think I already have now another delineation in my sorting here, but I have some things that I'm keeping for specific videos I want to do, and then some other things that are just more general, nice props that I might want to pull from. So this I am putting into my specific videos pile along with this um, clean circle little tub to see if I can use that um, for that sustainable products video. I want to do. I'm having all sorts of ideas today. This is very good for my imagination. And here's another tape measure. Oh my gosh, if I ever want to actually measure anything in my house, um, I don't know how I do it because all my tape measures are in my trigger box, but okay, this is a long, this is a long green tape measure. All right, well, I have enough tape measures in here that Maybe I should just uh, buckle down and do a tape measure video. I don't know. Let me what you let me know what you think of that. Do you like it when someone is measuring and uh, measuring you and measuring on the screen? Okay, I think I am actually going to return this to my sewing craft box, which is, I think, where it came from. And if I do ever do a measuring video, I will just, um, pull things from there. So let me know. Do you like measuring videos? Should I try that out? I don't know. The funny part is the reason that those measuring tapes aren't missing is because we have a measuring tape in our kitchen drawer that is shaped like a tiny cat. It's a fuzzy tape measure, and that's what we use for, like, everything. So that's the one I should really use in a video, so I will bring that on screen sometime, the fuzzy cat tape measure. This video is getting randomer and randomer all the time. Okay, that's just the bottom of the box. What is this? Oh, a little piece of foam. This little piece of foam came in with the Blue Yeti microphone. When I bought it, I remember, and when I did my first Blue Yeti video, I think I tapped on this as one of the test triggers. Hmm. Da this one's a maybe. I don't know. I don't know how much I like it, so I'm going to put it in the maybe pile. Let me know if you really liked that little foam circle, and maybe I'll uh, reconsider. Okay, I think there's also another... Yes, there's another piece of foam in here. Ooh! I don't know if this is part of the Blue Yeti or not, packaging or not, but... This one I like better. I think it has a... more depth to the sound.
Okay, I'm keeping this piece of foam. I think this has good potential. This is going in the keep pile, and I'm going to not keep this little piece of foam because it's okay, but it's not anything that special. But let me know. Let me know. Let me know if you think differently. I'm um, totally up for your opinions on these things. Okay. What else is in here? Oh, okay. This is... What do you think this is the sound of? It's coins. This is coins and a coin purse. Oh, that is a good sound. These are... I think some of my coins from Ireland. Yeah, from back before they were on the Euro, and so these are older coins. Cool. Okay, well, I like the coin sound. And this is a change purse that belonged to my grandmother as well. And, um, yeah, that's really nice. I would like to keep that sound in rotation, I think. And, I mean, I want to keep track of these coins. They probably should be in a better place than my trigger box, but, um, that is a very nice sound. So, I think I will put these away somewhere outside of the trigger box, but I will remember the sound of those coins, because they might be fun. I don't know, pirate roleplay anyone? <laughs> See what we could do with that. Okay, so I'll put that in my put things in its proper place pile. Okay, we're getting to the bottom. There's not that much in here. Something flat. <laughs> oh, this is a sticker. This is a sticker. Oh, I forgot this was in here too. This is a sticker that my mom gave me. that has a black cat peeking up and she got it for me because of my black cat Yorichi and I had been intending to do like a stickers video so again this motivates me to get organized with that so I'm going to Put this sticker in my specific videos pile because I have some other stickers in other places that um, I should pull all together and do a stickers video. This is great. This is getting me uh, so organized for new content. So, little kitty sticker. Okay, I think we're really getting down to the bottom. There's, oh, another one of these. They come together as a set, definitely. So, I will put that into my keep pile. Okay, now I need to seriously pick this up and like rummage. Okay, we really are almost at the bottom of this box now. Let's see what is still in here. Oh, okay, these are two things that kind of go together. I've got these two clippies, hair clippies, and I remember I used these in a video where I was doing your skin care, and I used them to, like, clip your hair back, and then they just ended up in here. And I don't really use these um, for anything on a regular basis. So, uh, their snippy snappy goodness, um, could stay here in the box, but I don't know. I'm not loving that sound right now. Maybe we're getting down to the end and I'm getting picky. Well, let me know if you think differently, but I think these are going to go back into the, uh, back into the, uh, bathroom with my other hair supplies. I don't think they need to be in the box. So, okay, the last thing in this box, it's really funny. Now I'm like, oh, is there anything in here? Because it's so light. 
It's light as a feather. Okay, there is one more tiny thing in the bottom of this box, and it's hilarious. It is this little piece of elastic, and I don't remember where it came from, but I remember keeping it because I thought that this sound might be really cool on the microphone. Are you ready? When I was listening to it, you know, just with the naked ear, I was like, ooh, that makes such a deep uh, little thrumming sound. And on the mic, it sounds like a bee. Okay, well, I'm glad I experimented with that on the microphone, but, um, I don't know. I didn't find that incredibly tingly or anything, so I think I will. I don't know, should I keep this one? This is the only one I can't decide on, is this weird piece of elastic. So let me know if you would like to hear more of this weird piece of elastic. Or if you think it is, um, weird and unworthy to be in the trigger box. Okay, little piece of elastic. Our last, our last item from the trigger box. Okay, so now our trigger box is empty. You can see it's just a cardboard box on the inside. Only when we fill it with the magic of ASMR triggers does it become this uh, wonderful soundscape toy box. So I'm going to put back into it the things that we decided to keep for future possible props in videos. So that includes this piece of foam, this large piece of foam, our rectangle of cutout rectangles, which seem to have a lot of potential, I thought. So that's going back into the box. These two crocheted circles, I think have potential. They are going back into the box. The koosh balls, keepers for sure. This lovely little hairbrush. Maybe I'll finally do my first haircut uh, roleplay and I can use this to brush your hair before I trim it for you. We have our two crunchy cloth flowers. Definitely going to keep those. We have our poppy tubes. I don't know where the other one of those went. I will have a little uh, extra straightening up to do when I'm finished here. Um, my postcards, which actually I want to put over here with my specific videos pile. And then I have this little lovely flowered box, which I'm going to put back into my trigger box. So, in the spirit of decluttering, this is a lot lighter and more streamlined than it was. And now there is room in here for me to add more uh, potential items to the mix, so that will be fun. And then over here I have some items to take back to their proper places in my household. I have a few items that I want to set aside for specific videos I would like to do, so I want to put them in a slightly different uh, place and make a plan for when I'll be using those. 
And then I guess the only thing that truly ended up as a maybe was this pink box. And based on the amount of other things I got rid of and the fact that I do have room in there and I think that um, this could have a potential, have potential for multiple different triggers and uses, I think I will keep this pink box and add that to my collection. So everything else, I think, um, is destined for where it needs to be. And now we have this beautiful, fun, decluttered trigger box that I can pull from when I need something fun and creative to use in a video for you. So thank you for going through this process with me. I really do love decluttering things and um, I've, you know, embraced a spirit of minimalism and essentialism in my life um, in a lot of ways. I'm still a collector. I still have a lot of things that I love, um, but I do try to approach it in a very mindful way and make sure that the things that I have in my home and that I keep are all things that lift me up and not things that weigh me down. And um, so it's just fun to have this new light box that I will actually pull from and use now instead of it just being, you know, shoved over there in the corner and me not really knowing what was in it. So thank you again for helping me to do this. Let me know if you liked uh, this video. It was really fun to do. I will let you see one more time the beautiful sparkly lemons and flowers. I didn't notice there was a lemon before. And leaves on this box. And so again, let me know if any of these were particularly tingly for you. If there's anything I was looking to get rid of that you thought was great and think I should salvage, let me know. And thanks for your help in this process. It's always fun to uh, undertake a little project with you. So take good care of yourself. Rest well. And I'll see you again soon.